off of what he did. He ran 1945. It's going to be hard for him to duplicate that ever again in his life. Oh, I am sitting here watching, and I agree with you. Like, I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't know. I just, man, no, it wasn't going to win that. It wasn't meant for him to win that. No, 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 no. No, it wasn't. I mean, it, it is what it is, and, and, and this yeah. is like, <laughs> we, <laughs> and, uh, but this is talking about listening to Bogo winning that 200. And, uh, and I'm going to say this. I'm not going to say it's never happened. I can't remember it. And and if anybody can remember it, uh, get in the get in the comments and let me know that uh, there has never been a guy in the hundred meter finals and on the mile relay in the Olympics. Man, yeah, that was that was crazy. Now it's some people that that can do it, and that's uh, who should be doing it is Fred Curley, because see, Fred Curley already got a bronze medal in the four hundred meters, and he got a silver in the hundred. So if anybody should be doing it, it's Fred Curley. And uh, but we started off talking about the relay and we got off. But anyway, man, the, our system is terrible, and uh, the athletes and the coaches was terrible because all you had to do is take Kenny Beckmerrick and put him on the end. But instead, you put him on two and move Fred Curley on the end instead of moving, instead of putting in one person. That's like putting in two new people. Yeah. And uh, who who, and, who are you talking about the? Uh... When, uh, when they moved the guy uh, on, on the four by one. The See, yeah. in the prelims, Fred Curley ran two, but then when yeah. they got ready to get in the finals, they took Courtney Lindsay off the end and put, and then moved Fred Curley over there, and then took Kenny Bagnary and put him in Fred Curley's place. But all they had to do was leave Fred Curley over there and put Bagnary on the end, and that's just one yeah. person. Yeah, no, nah, but they, and, they, and they, that was they, a bad they disrespected, coaching they disrespected, move. They disrespected they disrespected the event by doing that, man. Like, yeah, like you said, it's it's teams that prepare for this and they practice, and you can tell it's teams like can't who I don't even know who won, but it's a team that do they even have a dude like in the top five? Like, in the no, no. You know what I'm who, saying? Uh, but they that I event. Think, uh, did, did uh great no. It was like did Canada. Canada no, Canada won it. Canada, Canada, Canada won. Canada, yeah, and they, yeah, they and, have and, a top and Andre the Gloss was in there. You know, uh, uh but, in the two. But, was was he in the two hundred final? What, but he, did, what did he place though? What in the now he was in the two hundred final. But you know Canada won it last time because America did the same thing last time. They practice. Yeah. You know they practice. They got a set group of guys that practice. Same group of guys. Changes. Same group they know of guys. they're gonna be if one yeah. goes down. But, they know it's gonna go where they're gonna be, and they they practice. They yeah, practice but see Canada. Out. Canada pays for that. But this is the thing. Mm -hmm. If uh, if uh, if uh, Fred Curley. And and those guys want to practice together. They got to pay for what they sell. Yeah, that's insane. And they're not going to do that, and I wouldn't either. And this is the thing. That's like insane. I said, you go represent America, but America really don't do nothing for you because so, the, so, I mean, because the thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollars that comes from the Olympics, not from America. And you represent America. That's, I, I, I don't no. want to say it. it's like the military, but it's like the military if you represent yeah. America. You represent your country, but you, you know and, it's, and it's kind of like the military. You represent yeah. your country, but you don't get nothing for it. <laughs> yeah, they got, I mean, they, they, they make more money in the all Navy games, in the all Marine games, in the all yeah. Air Force games yeah. than they do with the Olympics. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, they like, do. That's, that's wild to me. That is yeah. wild to me. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah. and uh, you know, going going on with track and field because we can talk about that all the all the time. Let's talk about this break dancing real quick. Did you see that Australian break dancing that everybody talking about? My boy was straight foolishness out there. Well, like it all depends what, on who you. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the I saw the break dancing. The, the, but the Australian dude that didn't, he wasn't breakdancing. Uh, he was making a mockery of the craft is what yeah. was going on. That that was, no, you thought that was break? You think he was really trying? You think he practiced or he just went out there and just. I know what real breakdancing is. Yeah, and that wasn't you know? it. <laughs> and I'm saying like this, you know, for 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 me, if I was scoring it, they, none of them scores would have been that high. <laughs> I mean, because well, I'm just, getting there. you know, you know, you need to go to some of the people that started breakdancing, know what break what real breakdancing is, and let them judge it. Don't you yeah. come in and uh, take over, and you don't really know what it's all about, then now you can judge it and say that somebody's better than me when you really don't even... 
Because to, to me, what they were doing was not real 